Falling in reverse are the biggest they've ever been, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. They're still growing. Their summer tour has had a tremendous turnout, and they've got some great up and coming metal bands on this tour, like Slaughter to Prevail, which is also another buzzworthy metal band that is must see. Now, their vocalist Ronnie Radke has always stayed ahead of the curve, and he's definitely not afraid to stir up some controversy, which is exactly what he did this past weekend, where Falling in Reverse was in Cadet, Wisconsin, for the Wisconsin Rock Festival. And I also happened to be there for a video I'm working on, and I noticed the layout of the festival was definitely different than what I'm used to seeing at rock and metal festivals. I had a good time, it was fun, the weather wasn't exactly cooperative, but it was a little bit different in that they have all these bench seats. A huge portion of the left side of the stage is made up almost entirely of bench seating. There's only a very small pit area in front of the stage, and as you can imagine, that's going to make the crowd at least appear to be very low energy for the performers when there are these camp style bench seatings at what is a rock and metal show with Falling in Reverse and Slipknot performing that night, which was the only day I was there. Now, Ronnie took to his Twitter to criticize that crowd and he makes the argument that, look, everybody wants to talk about artists' music. He should be able to criticize the crowds, which is what he did, which didn't sit right with some people. And I thought he had a great response on TikTok where he breaks down his entire position on this. And he also says some of the ways the food backstage wasn't good. And if you compare it to other shows and festivals. So it all started when he said this, fans are always allowed to criticize bands and their music and performance. It's time for bands to criticize crowds. Cat at Wisconsin was boring as hell, LOL. What are some cities you band dudes hate playing because you know the crowds are lame? Now, Ronnie pointed out they played many shows in Wisconsin over the years and the crowds have always popped off for them. So it's nothing against Wisconsin. Fans said, if your energy and Slipknot's energy didn't get the crowd going, it must've been bad. Even on my worst day, the second either of you two bands start, I can't help but feel that shit and move. Ronnie said, Slipknot was awesome, but the crowd just stood there looking at them, no emotion. Laughable crowd, honestly. He followed up saying, my YouTube apology video incoming to the bands that have to play some of the festivals that serve them raw chicken as catering and then make them share a porta potty with the crowd after bringing the promoter $1.3 million. Apparently the following night, the crowd was responding to this at the next show and they were chanting, So Ronnie ended up responding to the pushback and all of this on his TikTok, and he had a great response. This is what he had to say. This message is for Kadat, Wisconsin, and all the fans that are upset that I said you guys were boring. You ever notice how al uh, artists spend months to years making albums, and then they put the album out, and all the fans are excited, and all of a sudden, everybody's like, this sucks. And then you got someone like me that comes along and finally goes, you know what, Kadat, <clears throat> we travel all this way, and you guys were boring. Then all the fan, then all the people there are like, oh man, oh my goodness, oh how could he do that? How could he say something like that? Well, I could tell you how I could say something like that. It's because I'm not afraid to say it. And every single artist that you've ever loved, that you've ever saw, if your city was boring, they went to the green room and talked crap about you. <laughs> I promise you, they're just too afraid to say it to you because they want to. They want you to buy their merch, and they want to come back and you guys to respect them and all that stuff. I get it. And it's not that it's it's particularly you guys personally in Kadat. It's more the promoter's fault and the way he set the, the festival up and the conditions backstage and how the food was. And it just, you know, uh, it sucked. So as a whole, it just wasn't a, it wasn't a good experience. And uh, I liked, I, I told the truth, you know, and uh, I'm not going to say sorry for that. It sucked. It was boring. I didn't like the stage setup. You know, I appreciate the fans. I saw, I saw some of you guys. You know what was crazy? I saw a lot of you guys singing in the back. It was how the promoter set up the seats where you had to sit in that middle thing and you and you weren't allowed to even move. And if you moved or moshed, they kicked you out of the festival after you paid all that money to, to come to travel all the way to see your favorite bands. You can't move. A human being can't move the music or you're getting kicked out. That's messed up. Promoter get, makes all this money and then serves his artist crappy food. 
and like and and poor living conditions for the artist. It's almost disrespectful in, in a sense to the fans as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and shout out Madison, Wisconsin. You guys are awesome. We just played a sold out show there about a year ago. Green Bay, we just did the Rock Silla tour there. You guys are awesome. Kadat, boring. So again, Falling in Reverse is currently out on that big summer tour. Make sure to check out the dates coming to a city near you and get tickets while you still can before they sell out. That's your latest update from Rockfeed, and don't forget to subscribe and notifications on for the latest news and updates.